it's a great satisfaction to drive up to a person's house and feel like I can fix whatever they need. Tell me about the toughest job you've ever had. Wow, the toughest job. Yeah, the toughest fix-it job. Oh, three days ago, when I came in, the lady said, Oh, and by the way, my daughters want to help you put together this little table set. One daughter is about uh, 10, and she's very talented, well coordinated. Her younger sister, about seven, is very envious of big sister. So you got a 10-year-old and a 7-year-old working as your helpers. Right. Sounds that like takes trouble. Diplomacy. <laughs> I love to teach people to do things. And when a child shows an interest in tools and how to use them, I really get turned on. And this 10-year-old, I thought, "Ooh, what a wonderful thing to see a female interested in tools. So, she was doing great, but her little sister had her nose out of joint. And to make a long story short, I had to ask little sister to leave the room. Uh oh. And boy, that was a difficult... Yeah, so I, 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 I repaired it twice. Yeah. The first time it started leaking. Yeah. And then the second time it worked. And I have no idea what the difference was. Yeah. And the only issue now is I'm wondering, did I not screw that nut down enough? Or do you think that's okay? Well, I see a little bit of leaking around the bottom here. You see that? Yeah, well, I got low standards. I mean, if it's only leaking that much, I figure I'm golden. <laughs> okay. Well, do you have a pair of pliers that are big enough to fit around this nut here? Yeah, in fact, you can. I can take that nut off by hand because oh. I, I put it on very okay. loosely. I suggest you get your uh, big pliers yeah. and tighten down on that until it no longer bubbles here at the bottom. Oh, okay. Because when that bubbles, it, a little bit of water comes out, yeah. and then it evaporates, and then you get this mineral deposit right. at the edge. Right. It's not doing any damage, but it shouldn't be uh, leaking like that around the base. My um, name is passed from household to household as a treasured relic. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, although I get recommendations from hardware stores and that sort of thing, the ones I really treasure are uh, previous clients who recognize my distinctive ability to be trusted. They can give me their keys. They know I'll do the best I can and charge a, a just uh, price. At this point, $60 an hour. Right. Which to me seems outrageous, but it's a lot cheaper than the going rate. Right. <laughs> so I'm not complaining. And um, so I think one of the big problems that homeowners have is whom can I trust? Absolutely. My whole life has been divided into th three sections. Uh, growing up in Japan and working in Japan as a missionary. Right. And then being a pastor here in America. Right. Retiring from that and then doing this home fix-it business. Right. And you've been doing this for how long? 20 years. Wow. <laughs> All of those have been satisfying in various ways, but um, I think I'm happiest now.